Hello, everybody. Um, I'm remaking a video to clarify and to make shorter a video that I previously made about the H HTC One X. Um, I'm going to show you how to get uh, different things on it, such as music and stuff like that, which I bought without buying other things. Uh, to get to the point, like a lot of people wanted me to, uh, here's what you're going to do. I don't know how well you can see that. It looks okay to me. Okay, so top left corner, drag down, drag down, and then in the top right corner it says uh, settings. So you're gonna go to settings. Now, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, down here, it's the third one from the bottom. Should be, should say developer options. You just click the developer options. Now on here. Uh, the top one says USB debugging, debug mode when USB is connected. Put a check by it and click OK. Um, and then go down to where it says stay awake. You want to put a check by it so that when it's charging it'll, it won't wake up or it won't go to sleep. Can't really see that at all. Okay, I'm going to have to explain it. And then the, look to where it says allow mock locations. Uh, basically, I'll explain that later. Uh, well, basically what it does is, this is how it works. It's so that you can place something on your computer so that it will, or when you place it on your computer, it will show it in the phone. Um, and then that's, yeah, that's it. Um, and then just hit the home key. And if you want to know the thing I'm using, it's I can explain that later. Or ask me. It's a little bit different than what everyone else is using. Uh, it's not the standard one. Okay, so then go ahead and plug your USB into your computer. Okay. Now this is the part that a lot of people that I've actually talked to to do this didn't understand. When you plug this in, it's going to open up another screen and what you're going to do is hit the top right one, it says disk drive, The this one over here, and then come down here and, okay well I did it by itself, and then if you go into your top left menu and you scroll down it should say disk drive select to change USB type and then select to disable USB bugging but we don't want to mess with that so that's nothing so now let's go to the computer section of it um, I am using a Mac so it'll be a little bit different for Windows users uh, Windows basically the same thing just click start and then go to my computer um, For Mac, uh, new finder window. Um, and then go to where, for Mac users, it'll say no name. I'm not sure what it'll say for standard users, or for Windows users, sorry. Um, go to no name. And it's going to open up all this stuff. Uh, alarms, Android. And then go down to, okay, DCIM is your photos. And It'll actually save it between standard photos, such as this, to, and it also saves your bursts. Uh, whenever you, everybody knows about the, the shutter speed and all that, well, the shutter speed on this, where if you just hold down the button, it'll do a repeated burst. And it'll actually save your best image inside the burst so that you can find it on your computer. Um, that's not what we're here for. Um, all your downloads will actually be able to get off of your phone onto your computer without emailing them. Um, or you can take documents from your computer and place them in your downloads section. Um, and then see, like I have an app here, and it also shows your apps, such as this, the Go Launcher. That's the 
launcher that I use instead of the HTC one. Okay, so movies. Um, so, say, like here I have a bunch of different videos here, and say I wanted to add one to it, so let me come to a folder, find a video, I'm not sure what I saved it as, I think it's untitled. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this one to the trash just to show you. I'll move all these to the trash. Now, you never want to just move it there because it will actually take it off of your computer and move it there. Uh, what you actually want to do is say I wanted this team head kick video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. And then I'm just going to paste it over here. You can tell it's pasting. And now it's there. And I'm also going to show you that it does work. Um, if you're following along, it. Uh, well, the music. Okay, so I have uh, things by Team Headkick on here already, and then I have Tech Trance on here. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll go to our music folder. Um, if you have iTunes, this works. Um, I'm not sure if you can take bot items and put them on there, but usually I just rip them from a DVD or from a CD. So Mac HD users uh, navigate to your iTunes folder, which for Mac it's users, your username, music, iTunes, and then iTunes Media, and then music. So now let's come down here and we're just going to pick some. Uh, something, I don't know. Uh, Cobra Starship, sure. So now we have this one right here, right? I have my headphones both in. Okay, so what you're going to do here is to create a new folder you just create a new folder and you can call it whatever you want like playlist easy listening or whatever you want to call it I'm just gonna call it T1 okay so T1 <clears throat> now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this your music you want to take and you can take folders uh, if I would take everything by find something with a lot of, well if you take something if you take an entire folder with a lot of songs on here I suggest you get your computer organized to do it because what it'll do is like if you see this one here if I drag this Tupac folder over to it what it's gonna do is it's gonna make a Tupac folder over here and then these are actually gonna be in here as albums because this is gonna be the main album main folder two secondary folders and then if you have folders in here it's going to do the same thing so it's just going to be difficult to do um, so what we want to do is we want to take one song just to show you a uh, copy I'm going to put it in my T1 paste item now while you're doing this you actually cannot access your music folder from your phone because it's using that folder. See if I if I click this right here, then my phone you're connected and unavailable. So now what you want to do is just like any hard drive, you want to actually go back and you actually want to for Mac just hit the eject button by no name. For Windows it's down in the bottom right corner. Um, if you've ever hooked up anything, it'll prevent errors from your phone or from the computer. Once you do that, you can disconnect here. And then make this big full screen again. And then go ahead and unlock it. Get rid of that. 
now. Okay. Now what we got is we can go into the music folder. And then let it all start up. Go to my phone. Let it come in. And then for me, I'm going to go scroll all the way down to... Alright, it's not there. Um, I don't know what happened. It may have just taken a little bit to load up. Oh, I know what's wrong. Okay. So you're gonna go there. You're gonna go to artist. Then you're gonna go to playlist. What the heck? Obviously, it's working the way I want it to. Okay. Can't go by albums, not the genres either. Okay, so it didn't pop up for some reason. Um. So that didn't work. Um, but it does work. Uh, if you do it by the way I said, uh, it actually does it by artist or whatever, and you can actually access it like that. I don't know why it didn't do it the way I wanted it to do. Um, I guess those are just internal folders to keep it organized. Um, again, I haven't played around with this stuff enough. And then if you go back into, if you go to your menu, and then come over to movies, somewhere, again, I don't, I haven't messed with this stuff in a while, so, yeah, anyway, but I know it's there. Um, but that's it. Um, you can actually add go back into it. Uh, that first part will pretty much get everybody started just for sake of um, music and images and pictures and stuff like that. Load up real quick. back down to music, see, it's right there. I think what happened was, because I have two albums, I have Home Star and Vidiot by Team Headkick, and then I have an entire album called Tech Tracks. And then I have the T1. I'm not sure where it went, though. Um, but you can also come down here and Um, just real quick, I'll show you this, um, eject that, um, I don't use this just because it's gonna, it would end up costing a lot, but if you actually are using a laptop to do this and everything, and say you're out and about somewhere, you can actually use your phone as a um, uh, internet if you absolutely have to. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, go in here. I know I say um a lot. But anyway. Um, on here you can actually come down here and there's uh, SureFone's mobile network with a PC and then internet pass through. Um, oh, yeah, that's something I didn't know about. Okay, say you miss that spot and you don't get to choose the option you want to. Actually, just hit that top left corner, go down, and then where it says 
what the little USB emblem is. Uh, it says select to change USB connection type. Click it, and then you can choose which ones you want. Um, sync media files with PC applications. So you can do that too. You can only select one of these. So, and if you want to use your phone or listen to music, you have to select the charge only or else the music won't play. And then if you use the HTC Sync Manager, you can click on that one right there. Uh, I don't use it just because this is easier and I didn't have to, I don't even know if that costs any money. But that's it. Um, if you have any questions or need more tutorials for something, um, pretty open to suggestions, just let me know. And this was mainly for everybody telling me that a 30 minute video of me rambling was too much. Alright, and that's it. So we went from 12, 30 minutes to 16. Awesome. Okay, so that was it. If you have any questions, please ask. Alright.